Hey guys, I'm Jed Conklin with Field to Feast. And I'm Courtney Conklin. And this is Calhoun. And our daughter Maeve is asleep, so we're taking advantage. We're in self-isolation, just like the rest of the world is for the most part. And so we thought we'd do a little video for you guys on how we make a uh, elk meatloaf. It's awesome comfort food. And it has bacon. Which makes everything better. Everything's better with bacon. We're going to do it a little bit different today because we yeah. are down on some ingredients. Yeah. And it's just going to use what we have in our pantry. Yeah, we're not going to go to the store. So that's the great thing about meatloaf is you can kind of throw some stuff together. And we're going to show you how we're going to do it. And it has a bacon weave on it. So you tell yeah. everybody. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Well, here's our ingredients, guys. It's pretty simple and straightforward. We have two pounds of ground elk. We have bacon. We have one crying baby. We have parsley, garlic powder, fennel seeds, ground nutmeg, Italian seasoning, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup. We have breadcrumbs, onions, eggs, olive oil, and we'll throw in some salt and pepper as well. And we'll give you the exact amounts in our post. First thing we're going to do is saute the onion to add to the ground elk. We're going to start with two tablespoons of olive oil. Bump it up to about medium heat. And then we'll add the onion. We're going to let that go just to get some color on it, caramelize a little bit. And then I like to add the dried herbs to the onion. Really, I'm just using what I have in my pantry. So this meat loaf is going to taste like a meatball. All right, the fun part, mixing the meat. So we forgot to tell you guys, but we're adding a third of a cup of bone broth in with our spices and onion. Two eggs. Half cup breadcrumbs. Three tablespoons Worcestershire. One big dollop of ketchup. Mix that in with your hands. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, we're gonna add that bone broth to our spice mix after we pull it off of the stove. That helps to cool it down. And also, while I was mixing this, I realized that a half a cup of breadcrumbs wasn't gonna be nearly enough. So Courtney and I added another half a cup. So we're about one cup of breadcrumbs in right now. And now it's feeling pretty good and we're ready to mold it up. All right, we have a new helper in our midst. This is Maeve. How are you doing, Maeve? Did you spit up the marshmallow? Yeah. Oh, you don't want the marshmallow anymore? Oh, you're going to save it for later. Okay. All right. Well, there's that. Okay, so what we have, we've set our bacon weave up. Three pieces on this side, two on this side. These two will fold into the, into the gaps between these three. And then these will be doubled on either end. We've put ketchup on the bottom of that as well. And then we have our meat mixture that's going to go in. So we'll push this in. Now this part is fun or annoying or frustrating or all of the above. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this and then we'll zip through it in the video and you'll see the outcome at the end. All right, my weaving skills have been tested. We're finished. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put a layer of ketchup over the top of this, and then we're gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on top of that. I am gonna wash this bottle after my bacon fingers have been on it.
My neighbor, you want to come over and help? Put some brown sugar on? All right, we're going to have a helper. Okay, Maeve. Grab this. Is this a marshmallow? He's sticky. Oh, that's your marshmallow. You smear it like that. Perfect. That is such a good job, Maeve. Okay. All right. Now it just needs to go in the oven. So I'll give the total time of what it start, what it took start to finish on getting this thing to where it is right now. I will tell you that those of you that are better at weaving than I am will probably have it quicker. And if you don't want to do the weave, it probably saves like 10 minutes, to be honest. But it's so cool. It's going in the oven. Jed's Eagle Scout basket weaving skills. Valuable once again. <laughs> 350 for about an hour. Should be delicious. made it to the finish line. It wasn't that bad. We only have one baby crying. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs> He's hungry. Calhoun just pureed in the jar. Yum. Pureed Yum. Yum. Do you want some of this? Ah. What's your thoughts? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy Sunday. Cheers. Mine looks like this. Oh, you don't get that. No, yours looks like this. Puree. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Um. Is it good? Is it good? Do you want some more? Is it good? Do you like your pureed meatloaf and mashed potatoes? Yay. I think he likes it too. That's a good thing. Mm.